federal government has just dropped the 2024 slash 2025 budget and I am here to bring you all the key tax and superannuation changes that you need to know about and it's a big one this year when it comes to tax. And that is because every single taxpayer will be getting a tax cut. Now this was announced a while back a few months ago with the new changes to the stage three tax cuts. So that are a little bit different to what was announced a few years ago but in essence everyone will be getting a tax cut. So they've said that it's going to be an average of $1,888 per year. Obviously it will depend on how much tax you pay, what kind of income level you've got as to how much the tax cut is worse to you. There's some great calculators you can look at online to work that out for you. So this in essence is going to change our tax table. So we're going to go from 19 cents to a 16 cent bracket, a 32 and a half cent bracket becomes a 30 cent bracket and the 120,000 bracket is going to go up to 135k and the 180k bracket goes up to a 190k bracket. So here are the new tables that you can see and what this means is that from your first full pay in the new financial year, so after 1st of July, your tax withholding will drop. So you previously would be getting held a certain amount based on the current tax tables. If you earn the same amount, you actually get more in the hand because your tax rate will drop. So this isn't an increase to tax refund. So when you lodge your returns here, don't expect to get a bigger refund because this is something that will kick in for the 24-25 year and it's actually something you'll see the benefit each pay period, not at the end of the year. So it is great, everyone's getting a tax cut, I don't think anyone can complain about that. Whether it's as good as the initial stage 3 plans, that's a whole nother story. The other big one that was announced actually a couple of weeks ago is the change to the HELP indexation. So HEX debts, HELP debts, whatever you want to call them, have indexation, which in essence is a little bit like interest. It means they go up each year that you have them. Now previously this was calculated on CPI, but they are changing that so it will go up by the lower of CPI or what they call WPI, so the wage price index. So I think this is a really great measure because it means that your HEX debt is not going to go up as much if CPI is high but wage growth isn't high. Now one of the other great things of this, they're actually backdating this to the 1st of June 2023. So it's going to see credits applied for last year because the CPI figure was 7.1% but the WPI was only 3.2%. So you're actually going to see a difference in your previously held balances because they're going to retrospectively update that. So again, there's a cool little calculator here I found online where you can actually go and see what the difference is for you. I believe if your hex debt is already paid off that you will receive a credit and that will be refunded, but I'm yet to see how that will play out. I think this is a good measure. I am happy about it, but I still think there's a lot of confusion around hex debts in general and I think they need to be better explained to people when they first sign up for these. Now for small businesses, the instant asset write-off is being extended by another 12 months. What a surprise. This seems to be a great thing that they keep putting in budgets year after year. Obviously it changed a bit during the COVID years, but they just keep extending it. I don't know why they don't just permanently write it in, but I think it's always a great thing that they can announce that sounds really good. So from 1st of July 2024 to 30th of June 2025, you'll be able to instantly write off any assets up to $20,000, excluding GST, if you register for GST. This obviously accelerates the deductions and therefore accelerates the tax benefits of buying capital assets. If you are buying assets over this, they'll typically then need to be depreciated. Now, this is something that always seems to take them a long time to actually sign into law. The prior year, for the current financial year actually in, the 23-24, there's been some proposed changes to make that $30,000. I'm yet to see how that plays out. This is just a frustrating area because they're using it just to try and sound good and I just wish they'd permanently update the limit to $20,000. Now before I talk about one of the key changes that's happening in the superannuation space, I'd love for you to go and join my email newsletter because as we're coming into tax time, I'm dropping tax tips every single week for free to you guys to help you better understand what is going on in the world of tax and how can you best maximise your tax return. And the key superannuation change is actually in relation to paid parental leave. So the government will now be paying superannuation on government paid parental leave. So this will start for babies born or adopted on or after the 1st of July 2025. Now these payments will be made annually starting from 1st of July 2026. I think this is a really great measure because obviously when people stop working, they have the paid parental leave system they can access, but they're not getting paid super for that time period. It's not going to be anything huge, but I still think the concept is good because if you were working a job, you were earning income, you were getting super on that income, and why shouldn't you get that then if you're getting paid parental leave? I think it's just a great simple concept and it's a part of a range of changes they've been announcing over the past couple of years to make our paid parental leave screen system much stronger. So when it comes to tax changes, while there isn't a huge amount of them, the really big one is everyone is getting a tax cut. Now this isn't a handout, it's not going to happen in this financial year when you lodge your tax return. Instead, it is going to happen in your next pay period. So keep an eye out for that 
when the financial year ticks over and you get that no pay period, you should see what will be a tax cut, which will be a bit like a pay rise for you. Now, I did actually talk about these stage three tax cuts a few weeks ago, so I'd love for you to go and check that one out in more detail or drop a comment down below. What did you think of this year's budget?